and we had a little emergency this morning. Um, Margo woke up early, early in the morning, feeling sick. Well, she was, she had like some massive fever, and I don't know, we're in the middle of nowhere, so we had to wait till this morning. I drove out to the store to get some other stuff while I was waiting to see if CVS would open, and fortunately, they had the stuff. They had some Tylenol. And I mixed it with orange juice and just gave it to her. So hopefully her fever comes down. She's at like 101.4 now. So I can only imagine what it was last night. Kind of scared, but now that she has her Tylenol, hopefully you know, she's going to feel a lot better soon. All right. Oh man, that's the thing about being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. You know, you just feel a bit more vulnerable because you don't know where everything is and you don't know if you're going to be able to find the same things. Oh, there's like a rabbit out there. I don't know if you can see it, but that rabbit's always around. I think it lives in the neighbor's yard. But right now it's in the shadow. Can you tell? All right. Let's see. Hopefully, uh... Anyway, today's Thursday, so we're going to try to probably stay at home and find things to do at home today. That rap's got some big ears. Well, I've been awake since, uh, I don't know, since 3.30 in the morning. Since I'm up, anyway, I'm gonna make some pancakes. Went to the store, got some maple syrup. Hopefully this will make the little one feel a bit better. Okay, let's do it. All right, we're gonna try to make some waffles here. Let's see how it turns out. I've never made it with this machine before, so let's see. You're supposed to fill it up and then close it and then flip it and wait five to seven minutes. This to get it out. Here we go. And then you flip it. Five to seven minutes. I can smell it, but I don't know how well it's cooking inside. Can you see the steam? I don't remember the all clad one taking this long, so I hope it's not burning inside. Alright, that's the timer. Let's see how it looks. So, it looks like I didn't put enough batter or I didn't flip it fast enough. I don't know. Kind of a fail. How about... More batter. More batter, gotta fill all the way up. Here we go, here's the flip. <sighs> Looks like it was kind of burning, so I'm gonna turn it down to about four minutes. The only thing is all that batter is only making like two waffles at the most. Waiting time is terrible. At least you can see from pancakes if they're getting done or not. Oh, it's huge. It's huge. How the hell do you get it out? Look at this waffle. It's a huge giant waffle. Yeah, that's why it's called the XL. It's the last one. You know, this design is terrible because since you have to flip it, eventually that cord's gonna get jacked up. And that is a hazard. I don't think I'd buy this machine if I wanted to buy one. So the problem with this machine is that you need to put a lot of batter for it to work. This is what happens. Nobody wants a waffle that's split in half like that. So the end result is this, and it came out more like cake. The cake part of the pancake. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, it tastes like cake. At least we didn't buy the waffle maker. <laughs> You're recording us? How dare you? How dare you, Bobby?